Hey guys, Sir Shui bringing you another episode of this Let's Play. And uh, in this episode, we're going to continue where we left off in the last one, which is by handing Mo all of the baseball items, or the baseball collector's edition items. So, we got a glove, a ball, and a baseball bat, if I remember correctly. You'd sign one of these and give it to the children of anyone you killed on the field. That's not how it worked, but sure. See those numbers on the back? Tracks the count of enemies beaten to death by the player. Wow, this guy is completely clueless. Really good players use them to catch bullets. True fact. You can't catch bullets with leather. On the list. Thank you. Far as I'm concerned, you're now a part of baseball collector history. Wow, this guy is completely clueless. He uh he has no idea how to play baseball. He doesn't have any idea what the rules of baseball are, which is a uh, very very just awkward honestly <laughs> and uh, I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to sanctuary because we should hopefully have enough probably not but um we got more food supplies because we were able to find I believe it was corn and maybe some some carrots or something that we might be able to plant at uh, sanctuary so we're gonna go do that very quickly just to see if we can potentially just get that side quest out of the way even though it's like one of the main missions, it's not a miscellaneous objective type thing. It's actually like a mission. It's its own, like its own proper mission. So we're gonna go see if we can do that, and uh, you know, just get it out of the way. So there you go, loading. The loading screen sometimes just takes forever to uh, to load. So let's go to our food resources, then food, and then I got corn. That's what I got. Okay, so I'm going to put the corn, uh, let's put the corn, actually let's put it right behind over here. Uh, there you go, floating corn, because why the hell not? That just looks hilarious. And we can also plant a melon, melon patch here. So, uh, let me just try to squeeze it between, there, okay, that works, whatever. And let me take Seems these two well. melons as well. And then hopefully these two melons will give us the uh, the food that we need. Come on, let me, there you go. Okay, whatever. That works. And we can also plant some more razor grain. So I'm going to put that with the other razor grain. Where did I put that? Uh, it should be, there you go, there's a razor grain. So let's just, let's just drop that in right there. And we don't have any more food for right now, so let's harvest this grazer, razor grain, rather. And, wow, right, there was a smaller version that I didn't even realize was there. Whatever. We put some more food there. Doesn't seem like we're really producing anything out of that, though, so... That's, uh, there you go. Okay, awesome. That, that does actually end up working for us. Now, now we can go talk to Sturgis again. Sturgis. Please wake up, Sturgis. Come on. Come on, Sturgis. Don't take your sweet old time. All right. This place is starting to feel like home. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. The trouble is, the more we establish ourselves here, the more of a target we become. Yep, that's we true because people will become envious of the stuff that you have here. Preston will be able to relax a little bit. I'm on it. Ah, thanks. Sure, I'll do it. We'll even though I already did it for you guys. Sturgis. Don't you dare go to sleep yet. Well, I'll sleep better at night knowing we have some defenses set up. It's been a long road, but yeah, I think this is it. Oh, feels good. Awesome sauce. I was glad, glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Course, now let me get my XP. My door is always open to you. Windows too. Obviously, I'm welcome here. This is where my original home was. I guess I better get back to it. In fact, it's only because of me that you guys were able to come here in the first place. Awesome. Completed sanctuary. We get some more XP. It's probably not going to be enough to level us up. Yeah, I thought as much. Uh, however, let us see which, which, uh, oh, I don't want to do that one. Explore the combat zone, give Sheffield a Nuka Cola. Um, I'll go give, give ne Sheffield rather the, uh, the Nuka Cola. He, he's right at the marketplace, so. We can just go to the Diamond City Market, we can give him his Nuka-Cola, and I think we actually get some XP from that as well, so 
We lose a Nuka Cola, but we get some XP out of that, and we also get, I believe, Sheffield as a potential character that we can use as, as well, but uh, I'm not going to be using Sheffield. I don't know if he gives us any special perk or anything, but he just he just seems like a junkie, essentially, and I don't really want to deal with the junkie for now. Uh, later on, we will be dealing with the junkie just because she'll give us a perk uh, as well. Yeah, that is, that is a good word of advice. Uh, what? Okay, that was weird. Okay, here you go. There's uh, Sheffield. I'll just give you one. Here you go. No skin off my back. Oh, I just... That was weird. I just, like, teleported or something. Awesome. You get some Nuka Cola. I mean, not, we get some Nuka Cola. I meant we get some uh, some support. I kind of want to go to explore the combat zone, but then another part of me doesn't want to just because, uh, for one thing, there's going to be a lot of raiders there. And for the other thing, we're going to have to, um, that's basically where we get the other companion, but I don't want to do that right now. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do fire support. Prob mm. Should I do fire support? Yeah, I'll do fire support. Our support is to the north. Okay, so let's teleport to Cambridge Polymer Labs. Crap, I just realized this is where all the raiders are. I think. Was it Cambridge? I don't remember if it was Cambridge that all the all the raiders were at were at there. Yeesh. That's uh this may not end up going well for me. And one of the cool things, as you guys can see from here, the power armor, uh, the cool thing is that the power armor in this game, you actually wear it as armor, like, as an actual, like, full body suit. Um, I try to be. Yeah. I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets... I mean, I wasn't playing nice. I was actually being a nice guy. Look at Diamond City, a place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. Uh, yeah, just, um... I'm gonna go with must be exhausting. No kidding. Basically, it's her against the world because the world just wants to hear happy stuff. Or they would prefer to hear happy stuff and then you have the mayor pressuring her to just post happy news and not really post on on the uh, the synths and the institutes and all this other stuff that's real, but for some reason the mayor just doesn't want to acknowledge any of that. Not sure why. I couldn't agree more, man. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Exactly. Most folks, though, they'd prefer a comforting lie. That is actually true, even in real life. People will sometimes prefer a lie than the truth. I'm more so the person that will prefer the truth. If you like me, tell me you like me. If you don't like me, just tell me that I, you don't like me. That way we don't have to keep this farce going between us, you know? I'm more so a very blunt person. In fact, I've actually had multiple issues with uh, some colleagues where I would... Honestly, I would try to just criticize them as bluntly as possible, and the thing is that I kind of tend to come off as being somewhat, like, aggressive or something, where uh, people tend to think that I'm, I'm just being a dick or something, when, when in reality, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just providing my criticism, and in fact, in our senior project for media high, in high school, we actually had a group that uh, their movie was not, I'm going to say it wasn't that good. That's being nicely. I, I, I was putting it nicely, I should say. Um, I critiqued them. I told them, as from an editor standpoint, you know, as someone that has made videos before, uh, this is when I first started on YouTube. I was like, this isn't really entertaining for people. You know, there's no narrative going on that is easy to follow. Uh, I don't understand what you're going with the camera uh, deal. That you, you know, they basically just attach the camera to a person and they they had them walking around for like 15 minutes. And I was just like, there's literally no point for this. I get what you're going to go going for rather with the point of view, but you're doing this excessive walking for no reason at all. There's no audio in the video as well, or rather, it was it was a video that we were assigned to do like without any dialogue. So we could use music, we could use sound effects, but we just couldn't talk. So. Having a person just walking around, supposedly hanging out with his best friend or whatever, 
and not really having any dialogue going on. You know, it was just it was just confusing to say the least. So when that was going on, I was just like, honestly speaking, what are you guys going for with this? Like, <coughs> oh, excuse me. I was like, what are you guys going for with this? I don't understand it. Like, I don't understand the point of view. Um, you guys might want to try better than the POV type thing. I get what you're going for, but you might want to change it up a bit. Anyways, that was just a weird side story that uh, I got into. And like I, like I was saying, I, I critiqued them. They got angry. at One of them got angry at me. And uh, we just basically ended up in a yelling match for probably like half a day or something. It was just annoying. Honestly, the, the thing was that the guy kind of ended up being like a touchy person. Cambridge Polymer Labs. Employment opportunities. Wait. Okay. Um, no. I am required to inform you that this is a secure facility. And uh-huh. <laughs> okay, I'm not, I'm not going to go further anyways. It doesn't matter. Um, I'll just, I'll just end up leaving. There's no problem with that. I'm not equipped for this. I, I do remember what this area is for. I'll come back later. But for right now, I'm not going to come here. Just because it's going to be difficult for us to handle what goes on in that area. <laughs> and quite frankly, I don't really want to deal with it right now, so... You know, I'll just keep my distance for now. Okay, I'm just trying to see if I can... I can avoid getting into fights if possible. Whoops, didn't mean to get that. Fraternal Post 115. Isn't uh, 115 the, the name of... Ooh, so how the hell is an ice is a Nuka-Cola Quantum in that? I don't know. Um... Isn't 115 the element that is used in Black Ops 3 to ex or Black Ops and you know World at War the series uh, to explain how the zombies came to fruition? Like they're just like, oh, the zombies were uh, possible because of the genetic modifications that come from element 115 or something, something like that. I don't really remember like what the exact words were, but it's something along those lines. Anyways. Uh, the reason that we decided to come here, first of all, it's going to give us a lot of free XP right now just because we can just, you know, get rid of... Whoops, I don't want to shoot them. We can get rid of the feral... Please let me shoot a feral ghoul. There you go. Okay, let's just shoot this feral ghoul. Let's get that critical hit and then just finish it off. There you go, and there should... Nope, there's no more. Nope, there you go. There's there's more stuff right there. Okay, awesome sauce. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, screw you. There you go. Come on. There you go. Awesome sauce. And that should be all of the... The, uh... Super Muse, I was about to say. No, the, the ghouls. Okay, I'll talk to you later, dude. I need to pick up everything that these guys dropped that will be useful to us. So, uh, g give me a few a few, uh, few seconds over here. You know, just let me do my own thing. Uh, so, we're just going to pick up all of the ammo. Oh, yeah, that was the other reason that I came here. They give you a lot of stuff, including ammo. So, you know, why not just take advantage of that? And bottle caps. They also give you caps, which is good toothbrush why would i ever want a toothbrush for i mean it's probably useful for something anyways let's pick up that's 308 round shotgun shells some more shotgun shells over there um can we get anything on the second floor over here yeah we actually can wow there's some feral, feral ghouls that came up here Ooh, that's sad okay what the hell that was weird truck just exploded anyways uh basically what happened is this guy died uh, while holding the line and those guys over there were safe because they were further back So th for some reason the feral ghouls decided to go all the way around and attack that guy instead of going for the guys That were straight ahead of them Then again, they're feral ghouls, so I, I don't know how they think on the bright side We got a laser rifle that does 32 damage per shot. So that's a pretty good pretty good uh, weapon for now Let's see this go gives us 10 10 and 10. Oh, that's not gonna be useful to us right now though um, can we do anything else that is useful? Raider chest piece is four and two. No, I'll just I'll just stay the way with the with what I have right now. So let's talk to Dance right now. What's your business here? 
I'm just, I'm just trying to survive. survive. Like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals, I find that a bit difficult to believe. I was just doing that because you guys are from the Brotherhood of Steel. I'm gonna just try the speech challenges. After all, I helped you fight those ferals. This would be much easier for both of us really? to cooperate. Now, where are you from? Whatever, I'll just be honest. Vault 111. You're a vault dweller? Most people wouldn't admit to such a thing. I appreciate your honesty. If I appear suspicious, yeah. it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the no, that's fair. Arrived in the We've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. Ooh. I want to help, but I don't like the secrecy. Who are you, really? You owe us that much. Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. I mean, you could tell by the uh, the logo that's literally right there to the bottom left of the T60 armor, at the bottom of the screen, on the middle of his chest plate. That's literally the Brotherhood of Steel sign logo. Sir, if I may. Proceed, Aylin. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Cool, so we need a signal booster. It contains the technology we need. The deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? I don't really know about the Brotherhood of Steel right now. As a person, I know all about them, but as a game character, we don't really know who the Brotherhood of Steel are, what they stand for, or anything that goes on about them. So I guess I'm going to go with... Hmm. I'm gonna go with a sarcastic reply. Fancy way of saying that you're looting everything you can get your hands on. Looting implies that we're attempting to benefit ourselves. That couldn't be further from the truth. So, what do you say? Will you help us? Uh, I'm gonna go with. Um, I'll just say yes for now. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Awesome. Uh, I'm gonna pick up that stamp pack and the rat away. Because they're going to be useful to us, and also because we can take them. We don't usually get that many options that we can actually uh, take people. Alright, let's take Reese inside. Okay, I, I, need, I need you guys to open the door before I actually go into the police station. Also, thank you guys for that level up. That's going to be very useful to us later on for right now. It's not a. Uh, it's not the most useful thing in the world. Also, that that little jingling is just my dog just going to his own little bed. He's a weird dude. And what we're going to do right now is we are going to upgrade more ammunition. No, that's not gonna work. Okay, I should have this one almost all the way up. Yep, intimidation. Wasteland Whisper, Inspirational, Party Boy, Local Leader, Animal Friend, Attack Dog, Lone Wanderer, Lady... Okay, dog, seriously? I'm recording here. Dog, I'm recording here. Don't you look at me like that. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Uh, let's see, what can I... Upgrade locksmith. Okay, I'll just upgrade up up all of that. I can't even speak. I'll upgrade the locksmith perk to be able to get expert locks. Uh, we've reached level eight. We can actually go inside now. It's not a good idea to keep Paladin Dance ready. I know, but he told me that I can go resupply inside of the Germantown police. Germantown. I'm thinking of of Fallout Three. There was a a place that was called Germantown Police HQ or something like that. Anyway. He told me that we could actually go here and restock on supplies, so I'm doing that, you know? So, I'm following orders, essentially. Excuse me, Paladin So, Dance. okay, no, I'm not, I'm not trying to talk. I wasn't trying to talk to you, I was trying to get the frickin' stim pack. But you're too fat, you stand in the way. Jesus. Okay, uh, I don't believe we can get anything up there. So we're just gonna make him wait for us outside over there. Okay, let's listen to Scribe Halen's personal log. Oops. While we continue to loot this area. Let's see, is there anything too useful? Gladius. Personal terminal. We don't really need that for now. 
Let's take a quick gander around here just to see if we can find anything that'll be useful to us. Cigar box, that's going to be useful. Flip lighter and cigar. Is that? That's rat poison. I'll take it. Not sure what it's going to be useful for, but I'll, I'll definitely take it. Also, I'm not, I'm not paying attention to what's going on there. Ooh, we just... We just unlocked the expert ability, or the, the ability to, you know, pick expert locks. And lo and behold, we already, we already have an expert level lock for us to pick. And there we go. Successful in doing that. Bayonet hunted rifle. That's going to be useful. Lightweight welded raider left arm. I'm going to take that stealth boy and the rat X as well. And I'm actually going to equip that as, uh, so let's see. That's two and two. That's one and three. Yeah, I'm going to go with this one just because I think we're going to deal with more ballistic damage than uh, energy weapon damage for now. Does she have a left arm? Uh, yeah, she does. She also has the legs. So she has everything as well. She has all the armor pieces that she could possibly need for now. Uh, you know, basically, she's at the highest level that we can give her for, like, uh, items and equipment and stuff other than, like, weapons. But... Weapons is, is just more complicated because you need to actually give them, for example, if you want them to use a specific gun, you also need to give them uh, ammo for that gun. And if you give them a melee weapon, they're basically just going to end up using that melee weapon over and over. Yes, it's cool and all, but, uh, you know, they're going to end up going down a lot more faster. So I don't want, I don't really want to deal with that right now. Anyways, let's just get as many, uh, as many cool things as we can possibly get from here. I'll join you in a minute friend I'm just uh, I'm just finishing recording this video here so let's let's uh, let's just finish getting everything here Cambridge police evidence terminal let's hack it because we can hack it and that'll just also give us a nice little XP bonus it's gonna be something like state uh, two letters are similar to state this one does not have two letters in, that are similar to state neither does that one uh, S T A T E nope S-T-A-T-E, nope. S-T-A-T-E, no. Uh, nope. Let's see, S-T-A-T-E, so... There you go. No, that's not it. Obviously, that's not going to be it. That's, that was three letters that were similar to the previous one. Okay, I need to find the uh, the little... There you go, tries reset. I'm also going to find the, the little code things that's going to reset the... Or, er, get rid of the duds as well. So, let's see if I can get those. There you go, there's another one. Get rid of as many duds as possible. This looks like it's going to be another one as well, and it is. Uh, maybe this one? Nope, it's not going to be it. That's not, definitely not going to be it. So, let's see. S-T-A-T-E, no. S-T-A-T-E, S-T-A, no, that's not going to be it. We already did that one. That's Brutes, it. there you go. I missed that one quickly. Uh, winter hollow tape logs, just because it'll it'll give us some stuff for later on. Uh, f you know, some side a side mission later on that we will be able to do with a uh, companion. So we're also going to take the duct tapes that are here. That was a lot of duct tapes. Holy crap. And that's a combination wrench. Not going to use that for a while, though. So I'm actually going to call the video here. Thank you guys very much for watching. We're going at almost 25 minutes, so I do appreciate your patience. I will see you guys in the next video. As always, take care and goodbye, sus.